Hi, in this tutorial you are going to learn how to paint a rhododendron bud and this is a sketch I've done already in um, uh, ink pen and I'm now painting it. I'm taking a mix of red, a deep red and a little bit of rose paint and I'm putting on top of the bud and I'm taking another brush which is just damp with water and blending that color down towards the bottom of the bud. I'm doing the same for the um, other red portions of the bud, um, painting on the top half and then coming back with your damp brush without any color and just blending it in the bottom half. So this way you see that the color is gradually going from lighter tones to darker tones as it goes to the tip of the bud. Here I have added a little bit of darker paint than what I did earlier because I felt like um, I need to really give that bright color to the bud. So I'm just going back and touching that again for the other ones that I did. So always keep two brushes at hand, one which has the paint, the other one which is just um, water but um, so so you can blend the paints and always make sure you're going back and uh, cleaning that blending brush so it doesn't have any paint left in it now i'm doing the um, uh, green portions of the bud where it's the same technique i'm coming with the color on the top half and making sure i very careful staying in the lines and then I'm using the blending brush to just blend the colors to the bottom of the of the portion, bottom portion of that leaf and then in the bottom here I'm actually adding a different tone this is just for the um, for the leaves under the bud which are very close to the stem uh, I added a tinge of uh, light brown just going back and retouching my other buds to make them brighter and here you can see first I used green paint um, to paint the top portion of it and then I blended it into the rest of the petal and then I went in and added a different color of green so when you're doing greens you always want to keep in mind to add at least two or three different shades of green into your um, painting that because that gives a little bit more interesting look than having just one shade of green now I'm doing the other bud which is more closed up um, and you don't see any red portions of the flowers you just see the green so I'm coming up with the with a mix of um, light green uh, with a tinge of um, light brown in it and going and painting the top portions of the um, of each of those petals and then blending it into the bottom portion and the ones which are closer to the stem i'm adding more brown so you can see the difference in the shades and now for the leaf itself the leaves um, i'm going to pick again couple of different shades of green sticking to the same ones which I used in the bud so I for this leaf I added the light bright green and then I came back with um, the sap green where I have a little bit of um, light brown or yellow ochre mixed into the paint and then blending it to the rest of the leaf and so I vary the shades of green uh, for the leaves uh, one so the one now below this is going to be very bright green just to show the difference in in the colors and um, and also always um, stay with the same shades of green for the whole painting so if you pick three different shades just stick to those three shades for the whole painting but you can keep varying them and um, going back and forth between those shades depending on which area of uh, of the painting you're doing so for the stem i've come back with a little bit more yellow ochre um, in my green and it's a little darker in the bottom of the flower because 
um, that's where the um, shadows are and then as it goes out it's lighter now for the leaves which are underneath um, the ones on top they make sure those are darker in shade um, and some leaves have made them a little bit brown to just show that they're in different phase of their life and this one here has a fold so I made sure I left that lighter and then I made this leaf pretty light um, so just painted on the bottom portion and then um, shaded the other ones and and so there you go so this is how we paint a beautiful rodent on bud